So, Black Rainbow, um, if you look at the score, I've got all the colors of the rainbow on these, on these tabs because what he did literally, each section of the piece um, corresponds with one of the seven colors that he pulled from the rainbow and the characteristics of each piece um, are attached to those colors. I'd never heard of Nathan Daughtry before. Um, he's written a lot for, specifically for percussion ensemble, but also a lot for solo percussion in various forms with larger groups. I'm really excited about this piece. I'm excited by the fact that we have six such skillful and dedicated percussionists that can play this piece. For a couple of years now, I've been calling this percussion section the dream team. My name is Mark Dodge. I am the co-section leader. I'm standing behind the marimba, which is the instrument I'm playing in Black Rainbow. It's a four and a third octave marimba. The bars are made from Honduran rosewood. And they produce a sound like this. I'm Chris Larson uh, in the percussion section here. My instruments are the orchestra bells and the xylophone. Me and Mark have sort of a, um, a unison section that's very fast and it would be fun to play a little bit of that together. Yeah. Nate Brewster. Uh, this instrument is the vibraphone. It has a sustain pedal, which is slightly different than the other uh, mallet instruments. Much like the pedal on a piano, and the bars are made of metal, so it has a different timbre than uh, the marimba and the xylophone. And here would be one part that uses uh, the sustain of the vibraphone. and I'm playing uh, some of the more rhythmic percussion. It's not as pitched as the uh, instruments like the xylophone and the marimba. This is a what's called a, a special kind of suspended cymbal called a china cymbal. It sounds like this. These four drums in front of me are called tom-toms and they're pitched high and low. I also have a set of wind chimes in front of me. Uh, and I have a pair of bongos. And I have this special kind of drum here called an ocean drum, which is filled with uh, metal ball bearings. So uh, when you tip it back and forth, it sounds sort of like the ocean. Rainbow, I play a variety of instruments throughout all of the different colors. Um, I play bass drum, I play congas, and the bass drum sometimes has a towel to dampen. I play suspended cymbal and I play tam-tam, and most of this is done with swizzle sticks, which was really fun for me to learn how to switch that quickly and still play efficiently and effectively. Uh, my name is Nick Rosalenko, and I play four timpani and a variety of different percussion instruments. Uh, timpani are pitched um, percussion and each one has a specific um, I'm kind of like the loudest strongest pitched part so you never miss me at all um, but also the timpani has a few kind of more gentle moments variety of different ideas to it. So over here you have uh, a suspended cymbal with a strip of metallic beads and they refer to this as a sizzle cymbal. So this is an um, uh, orchestral uh, instrument, a triangle. Um, and at some point I have to play it actually opening and closing my hand. 
And those are the different pitches, the different timbres that you can get. But at one point in the softer moments in the piece, um, he calls for the triangle to be dipped into a pool of water. You can kind of hear the pitch change ever so slightly. It, it's one thing to have a bunch of drummers come and play the parts. It's another to have uh, this section of adult paraprofessionals with very, very high skill levels who get along and really enjoy and encourage each other in this kind of way. And I've, I've seen other community bands. I've worked with other community bands. It's a very exceptional thing to see this kind of integration. There's a moment in the piece in the section that's labeled blue where Nate, Mark, and Chris are all playing on the same instrument. Just that unique moment of seeing all those people crowded around and, and collaborating so closely in such close quarters doing something that sounds so cool. Um, that's a great moment in the piece. Clearly they're having a good time. Uh, they're enjoying it so much and they are so in the moment and so in control. Their preparation has been so good and so complete. It's just one of the reasons I call them the dream team. It's just, it's just the way it is. Thank you.